So welcome again at a Kentico business webinar on how to explain headless CMS to your clients. My name is Jana Pelsula and I'm a customer success manager here at Kentico. And today it's my pleasure to welcome here my colleague Wojtěch, our cloud sales executive. Wojtěch has been around Kentico Cloud from the very beginning, creating the whole business strategy for the product. So he has direct experience with explaining the value of headless CMS to potential clients and partners. And I'm sure he will share some valuable tips today on explaining headless CMS approach to your agency clients as well. Before we begin uh, with the agenda, I have a few organizational uh, points about this session. Uh, you should know that this webinar is being recorded and the recording will be shared uh, with you within a week. And if this is your first time using GoToWebinar, uh, know that everyone is in a listen-only mode to avoid any background noise. Uh, but there's a Q&A session, uh, Q&A window uh, at the GoToWebinar console panel where you can ask questions, uh, which you may think of doing uh, during this session. We'll have uh, some 10 minutes at the end of the webinar to address uh, these questions. If we can't make all of them on time, we will answer all questions via email later. So don't worry uh, that your question won't be answered. So good morning, Wojciech. Uh, how are you today? Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, Ancha. Oh, yeah, I'm doing well. And uh, thanks again to all of you that uh, you, you join us today. Uh, I'm very excited to virtually meet you. So, uh, Jana, should we jump on the agenda? Yeah, of course. So what have you prepared for us today? Well, as the title of the webinar suggests, I would like to talk a bit uh, today about explaining headless CMS to agency clients. Well, uh, since you guys are attending the, the webinar, you've probably heard uh, all the cloud first headless CMS hype, right? And so have your customers. Well, uh, I would say that companies and brands are slowly but surely recognizing that their traditional CMS just isn't up uh, for the task. So uh, here, ca here comes the thing, how prepared you as a digital agency are for questions like how could the headless CMS benefit me? Well, I want to help you by sharing our experience which we have gained with Kentico Cloud, our headless CMS. So I will start by outlining why, why we think that this is the right time to talk about headless CMS and why companies are motivated to move their digital experience to the cloud. Then uh, I will discuss seven particular tips on explaining headless CMS to the clients that should help you understand its benefits and help you be prepared for discussions with your clients. And in the second part, we'll take a quick look on what you really need to be ready to show Kentico Cloud to your clients and how you might benefit from becoming a Kentico Cloud partner, which uh, we, we just launched, uh, like a full Kentico Cloud partner program. So, and uh, as uh, you and Chalari mentioned, uh, we'll finish the webinar obviously with um, questions and answers session, and uh, both me and Leancho will be happy to answer, uh, answer your questions you guys have. All right, uh, so I think we can, we can finally dive right in. So guys, uh, I want to say that I strongly believe we now live in a multi-channel world. Companies need to be able to provide connected and consistent experience across all channels. It doesn't really matter if it's a print, web, company, blog, chatbots, or just a mobile application. Digital experience used to be only about websites a couple of years ago, right? But this has changed. If we take a look on how the web content management world has evolved over time, we can see uh, that there is a clear shift to multi-channel, some would say omni-channel content delivery. Uh, this has been obviously escalated by the rise of smartphones that we are seeing from uh, 2006 when the first iPhone was launched, right? Uh, these days, everyone is talking about things like big data, uh, artificial intelligence or IoT. And I can, I can tell you that we have even seen some of our partners uh, connecting our headless CMS, Kentico Cloud, with intelligent chatbots or Google Home. We've also noticed uh, partners connecting uh, headless CMS to Alexa and uh, these, uh, these uh, new technologies. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm quite excited about, about these new trends. Looking into the future, we can only guess what awaits us with trends like augmented and virtual reality, right? So one, one can just bet what, what's coming next. 
And all these shifts and changes could easily cause that some clients may be a bit confused in this, uh, I would call it hyper-connected world with so many tools and services around us. And let's face it, clients don't usually know which platform they want. They may not, they may not even know the difference between a traditional CMS and Cloudforce CMS, or Cloudforce headless CMS, you can call it. And that's why they re rely on you, the digital uh, agency, which should, uh, which should uh, suggest the best solution for them. And another point I wanted to outline is that your client has the only major objective, and that's winning more customers. Of course, they would like to do that while saving money and shortening time to the market, right? And that's, that's uh, very connected with the solution and the vendor they chose. Now we have the only question. How can a Cloudforce headless CMS be of any help during the process? Well, we will now go through seven particle benefits of going with headless CMS, each of which has a clear value to the client. So I would say that uh, one of the largest corporate costs associated with purchasing and implementing a new software is the time it takes getting employees up and running on it, right? Getting used to new uh, software or new tools is usually a pain for majority of, of the employees. And training employees to work with a new platform is usually a time consuming process. So the number one for us, like the first uh, benefit which, which everybody gains by going into the cloud and using headless CMS is that it's simple and it's super easy to use. Thanks to its simplicity and ease of use, choosing to go headless uh, dramatically reduces training costs as users are invited to join the app just via email. Then they can just uh, click uh, on, on the email. There will be something like uh, join my projects. They will click and they will see the same intuitive interface. If you take a look on the print screen, I'm showing you on the screen, you can see that it's so clear and easy to use that they can dive straight into work. They are assigned to particle tasks. They are uh, their live uh, comments. So it's, it's very easy and everybody can dive straight in. Well, Another benefit, and now we are approaching number two, is that running a traditional CMS, whether on premise or in the cloud, requires hundreds of hours of babysitting, either by the client or by, the, uh, by their agency. And uh, with, uh, with headless, uh, headless concept, uh, which is running in cloud, you can really get rid of these maintenance costs, upgrades, and security issues. Because usually, what you need to do you need to configure a web server for the client or the client is doing it by themselves if, if they have an uh, internal dev house. You can, you, or you need always to install the CMS. You need to take care of CMS hotfixes, upgrades, backup, security, performance, well, you can name it. If true, Cloudforce has a CMS. There is no need for installation, upgrades, or backups. You just plug it in and focus on providing great experience to visitors while the CMS vendor takes care of the rest. Uh, some call it headless because you kind of separate the content production from its presentation layer. So uh, the headless CMS really provides you with, with freedom to experiment. All right, that's number two, and we still have five points ahead of us. So number three, the benefit number three uh, is that you can clearly avoid project delays with a content first approach. And I would say that we all know, we all know the pains and costs once web design projects take longer than originally expected. So another major benefit is that, uh, and it's clearly related with project delays, is that when you are running a headless CMS, content production can start much earlier than in traditional web development. Just uh, take a look on these timelines that you see on the screen. So. Um, on the upper part, you see the traditional approach. So uh, after you uh, define basic requirements, the web development starts, and somehow during the process, uh, when, when uh, the environment is ready, content production can finally start. If it started earlier, it means that uh, they are, they are uh, creating the content in some other environment, in some, uh, in some other platforms, and they still need to migrate the content. So uh, there's usually a big pain for content contributors. 
Well, this content-first approach, which, which we are pushing, encourages collaboration between content editors and developers as they can work simultaneously throughout the project and get things done much faster. So you see on the timeline with content-first approach that uh, content production is happening uh, in the very same time as web development, and it can even start uh, sooner, which obviously content strategies love. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, they can they can uh, define the whole structure of the content and web together with developers, which increases agility and collaboration. All right, number four, headless CMS running in cloud. Uh, encourages or uh, provides you a single place to draft, review, approve, and publish the content. Uh, it seems uh, it seems quite straightforward, right? And it doesn't seem like a huge benefit, but I think that this is something uh, especially editors and content strategists love to see, because uh, I would say for content strategists, it's, it's sometimes a nightmare uh, to uh, to switch context bef between different tools because they have usually some tools for content production, for uh, special tools for review, or they are using uh, optimized uh, Excel spreadsheets or whatever. And then they still need to approve it from, uh, let's say, project manager or somebody overviewing the project. And finally, somebody needs to publish the thing, right? Well, what's more over? And, uh, I don't know what kind of uh, customers and clients you, you guys attending today's webinar have, but especially big companies often have multiple teams working on their websites, social media, PR, and online stores. And these teams, as you see on the left uh, side of our screen, these teams operate in organizational silos. Uh, what it means is that uh, all these teams produce a lot of content and they are not uh, usually quite uh, synchronized. So uh, it may happen that it may happen that uh, uh, the same content is uh, is uh, created multiple times, which is quite not efficient for the company, right? Well, again, a cloud first headless CMS provides both agencies and their clients with a single space for all these tasks. You as a digital agency simply define the content structure for your customers and the content production loop can begin and that means that uh, content could be really reusable so imagine the situation that your social media team created the content and uh, the content has been published and after a couple of months the content is still in the content hub so uh, for example web uh, development team can leverage such a content they can reuse it or uh, use it as a small content chunks and uh, this makes the process quite efficient. Well, number five is my favorite one because uh, as I outlined at the beginning of my presentation with all the whys, uh, why we are moving, why we are seeing this shift into the omnichannel uh, digital experience. Uh, well, uh, we are all witnessing new technologies every single year or even a month. And uh, thinking omnichannel is a must in uh, in uh, today's uh, digital market, I would say. So uh, thinking omnichannel experience, not just websites or mobile applications, is uh, is a must for each digital agency and uh, big companies on the market. And uh, obviously, we've already talked a bit today about about uh, this stuff. But uh, I just want to uh, tell you again that uh, times have just changed and your clients um, need to be prepared as well. So uh, it means that uh, uh, there's no chance to, uh, to leverage traditional, traditional on-premise solutions, or of course there is a chance, but uh, it's quite hard to, uh, to use, uh, use traditional approach of web development and being able to deliver uh, the same content uh, to so many channels we are, uh, we are seeing uh, nowadays on the, on the market. So with headless CMS, the content delivery has really no limits. What it means is that you can produce your content just once and then publish it to websites, mobile applications, social media, smartwatches, chatbots. Again, you can name it, IoT. And uh, this, is, this is a big use case which we are seeing with our clients, uh, with clients uh, who decided to move their digital strategy and digital experience to, to the Kentico Cloud. Uh, because uh, obviously, 
if the company is uh, big enough on the market, uh, they they usually these days they usually have website, they usually have a mobile application, or even some carrier uh, section or uh, or blog or well let's say more uh, more channels. Uh, and I think uh, coming or looking into the future, we will start seeing uh, chatbots and artificial intelligence being implemented on the website, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you, uh, I would say you want to unite all your marketing activities at this site and uh, have really one content content hub. Yeah. So uh, as you see on the screen, uh, from from such a content hub, uh, I mean headless CMS, uh, you can just push the content via API very easily uh, to to any channel without any, any limits. Moving to number six, uh, and this is a point which uh, I would say uh, our technical Colleagues uh, would appreciate. I don't know uh, how many uh, technical um, technical roles or technical people are are on today's webinar because it's obviously focused a little bit more on business today. But still, uh, this argument uh, is uh, is laughed by by developers because uh, with headless CMS uh, they don't really need to stick with one technology. Uh, if uh, if traditional CMS uh, was running on .NET platform or .NET framework. There's no such a need uh, with headless CMS. You can you can basically choose different development framework for every single for every single project. And sometimes it happens that uh, your client requires a specific technology, right? Because, for example, they also have uh, in-house development which they uh, want to uh, maintain uh, maintain the project after after a, a launch. So uh, now you, you don't have any problem. Like uh, if you uh, if you were used to develop on PHP and the client requested Java, no worries. You can you can go with that uh, and uh, you you can be a real agile. Uh, so it's very important to outline that uh, cloud first headless CMS is really technology agnostic. So it doesn't limit you in the choice of, of technology stack. As you see on, on my screen, there are a couple of uh, a couple of technologies, but as I mentioned, no limits on this side. All right, moving to number seven, and this is the final one. Uh, obviously, uh, this is uh, this is uh, the the argument with the same importance as as the previous ones, because uh, uh, moving your experience to to cloud has obviously a commercial aspect as as well. Companies, uh, companies, uh, I would say, very used uh, to buying robust software licenses, right? But uh, this has also changed. Uh, I would say that we live in a time of innovation, of technological innovation, and clients no longer want to pay for a long feature list, most of which will never be used. And with true software as a service, CMS, uh, they only pay for features they actually use. Uh, with simple pay-as-you-go pricing, and that's a big change because now they don't really need to purchase uh, those features they they are not using, and uh, it's I would say somebody even calls it or uh, consumption-based uh, model. So uh, it's it's uh, very good for the client, uh, and I would say this point uh, brings me to our product, our headless CMS Cantico Cloud. So uh, to give you even a better example or to illustrate pay as you go pricing flexibility, I would like to uh, share a real example from the market. So let's say that we have a client with a large project, large website. So uh, they expect uh, almost 20,000 unique visitors per month. And uh, what are their requirements for the project? So uh, I, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, going uh, to dive uh, deep into uh, our pricing structure, but let's say uh, we have a free plan, we have a professional plan for majority of of the projects, and we have the enterprise plan for for those mission critical large projects. So uh, their requirements uh, are are uh, that they need 25 users that uh, they uh, with, with the access to Kentico Cloud and uh, based on their guess of, of the traffic on the website, they expect to need a li little bit over 300,000 API calls. Well, if you take a look on a professional plan, uh, which uh, is just about 300 bucks per month, it includes, in, it includes just 10 users, a uh, little bit less than 300,000 API requests and some decent number of tracked visitors. 
And what it means is that uh, they have uh, larger requirements than a professional plan includes. But it doesn't mean that the client would need to go with enterprise because let's say that this uh, example client is not quite ready for enterprise. Uh, they don't uh, require enterprise uh, services uh, like 24 seven support and these additional services like consulting SLAs and stuff. So the flexibility of uh, running headless CMS is that the client simply can purchase professional uh, plan and they can add uh, special extras on these metrics that uh, they expect to overdraw. So let's say they need 25 users, they will just simply add 15 extra users and uh, in total 150 bucks and uh, some, uh, let's say 50 or 65,000 uh, extra API requests or calls. And um, if you if you add uh, if you add uh, these uh, extra costs uh, to the professional plan, you will still or the clients will still uh, end up uh, paying just uh, 450 bucks per month, which is still quite below below the enterprise uh, costs. Yeah. So uh, this is how how the flexibility works. Uh, it's really uh, paying just for the client needs, and uh, the same uh, actually works for the free plan. So uh, if if the client is really small, because some agencies, I don't know, um, we have we have a, a lot of people today, and uh, I'm sure that there are agencies that are running the large projects. There are um, agencies that are running small projects. So uh, if the client is small, they can stick with a free plan and just prepay those metrics that they are overdrawing. Very flexible. Uh, all right. So. Uh, I would say that, or I believe that uh, these seven uh, seven benefits uh, or uh, seven seven tips for explaining headless CMS value to your clients uh, is uh, helpful to you, and I hope that uh, it will help you uh, to win more clients running on headless CMS, which I strongly believe is the future of the web content management. So uh, this is it for this part. Great, thanks Vojta for walking us through these hands-on tips. They are really useful and uh, interesting. Uh, but I'm just wondering about the situation when the client understands these benefits and just wants to see a solution right away. Um, not, not like a full demo, uh, which you need to book and, and, and uh, arrange, but just taking a look at the user interface and play with it for a while, see, see how it works. Uh, how about it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... Uh, that's a, that's a, um, actually a great question. There's there's nothing easier. Uh, so guys, let me uh, quickly navigate to my browser, and in this part, I will really quickly show you how easy and smooth it is to test drive uh, our solution Cantico Cloud. Uh, don't worry, uh, I uh, I won't be doing uh, like a full demo, so uh, it will be just a really quick quick one. So. Um, here is the, let me just, uh, let me just uh, delete this one. And uh, what you see right now is the homepage, cantigocloud.com, which provides you with all the essential information. So uh, there is a product information, pricing, obviously, a section of more where you can eat, read a lot of resources about headless, headless uh, CMS. But what's more over, you can directly sign into your account of Cantico Cloud. So you can sign in or you can start your free trial right away. So if I click on start your free trial, and this is something you can do even in front of the client because uh, running the new free trial or creating the, the new account, uh, well, it just takes a couple of seconds, I would say. So you just fill first name, last name, email, password, there you go. And what's nice is that once you sign in for the first time, Cantico Cloud will automatically generate the sample project uh, for you with the real content that you can use to walking uh, the clients through through the product. So let me quickly show you what happens. Uh, I'm not creating a new account. I have I have my test account here. So you see that I just started this one uh, yesterday because I still have 29 days left in the trial. Don't worry if you if you uh, run out of the trial if the trial expires there is a, a possibility to switch to free plan right away so no worries on this side and uh, if we take a look on uh, on uh, what you see right here this is the actual content which everybody sees uh, in their trial so you can uh, this is this is a sample project with a content about a uh, dancing goat uh, website you can you can even download this uh, this uh, site like a dotnet application in our uh, in our developer hub so uh, if we navigate, for example, 
to some actual content. So let me filter, for example, let's say articles. And I will navigate to, for example, Coffee Beverage Explained. So I will very quickly show you how it looks like or what it looks like. So uh, we see that uh, this uh, this uh, article has been already published. So if we want to make some changes, we can either unpublish or create a new version. So let me uh, create a new version here. Uh, so it's preparing a draft. And now you can uh, you can um, show your clients very quickly in no time. Uh, you guys know that I'm spending here just like 60 seconds so far. You can you can uh, show your clients uh, what uh, what can go is about. So uh, they can work right away. And let's say that uh, if you want to assign somebody, you will just uh, assign new contributors. I, I don't have any contributors here, but you can just switch switch the workflow step, assign new people. They will be automatically notified that they are supposed to work on the content and they can, they can uh, start right in. Uh, and uh, the user interface is super easy. So uh, for example, if I want, let's, um, as I as I promised you, I'm I'm I don't want to uh, do uh, like a full demo, but I just want to uh, show you one scenario uh, because uh, we have uh, Yana here, my colleague. So I will navigate the project, and let's say that I want to use uh, or I want to invite uh, Yancha to my project. So I will just uh, fill in her a real a real email. Uh, I forgot to M, uh, Yana Slova, and let's say that uh, Yancha will be developer for for a couple of minutes. So I will send an invitation because obviously here you are choosing the role, right? I will send an invitation to her. And uh, then uh, right now, uh, I'm sure that because we are running, uh, we are running webinar, Yancha has, uh, has turned off her email. But anyway, now uh, when Yancha sign in, she will basically see the same intuitive interface. And if I, if I go to uh, to this coffee bridge explained uh, item, uh, I can now assign the item to Yancha. So Yancha will again receive notification that she's uh, she's uh, responsible for working on this, and she can she can dive right in and she can uh, she can get things get things done. Uh, so uh, this is basically uh, basically it. Uh, my goal here in the last let's say two minutes was really to show you how easy it is to onboard Kentico Cloud. This is this is not like I'm showing you the product, uh, but uh, if you if you are interested in uh, in uh, learning more about the product or even attending a full full blown demo, you can just navigate to our website and uh, on the bottom side there's a, there's a chance or a possibility to get get a, get a live demo. So uh, there there you go. Yeah, so uh, I believe uh, yeah, this is this is it for uh, for uh, test driving Candico Cloud. Yeah, thanks, Vojta. I now have notifications in my mailbox. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this this is really helpful, and this can help uh, your clients, um, and you present uh, the solution pretty quickly. Uh, Okay, so we are now nearing the end of the webinar, and I think there's one more thing uh, we would like to show you today. Uh, we have just launched a brand new Kentio Cloud Partner Program. So, Vojta, can you uh, tell us more about it? Mm. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, so, uh, guys, I'm uh, really excited to uh, tell you that. Uh, well, I skipped this slide, so sorry for that. So I will go directly to Kentico Cloud Partner Program. Here we go. So, uh, what is it about? If there are some, uh, if there are some agencies or uh, attendees from our uh, from our uh, current uh, Kentico Partner Network, because uh, in that case, you guys know that we already have Kentico Partner Network all around the world with 1,000 partners, let's say, but. Uh, we decided uh, to create a brand new Kentico Cloud Partner Program for uh, agencies and partners uh, using Kentico Cloud because we strongly believe that the process with uh, running headless CMS is a little bit different to traditional one. Uh, so this is, uh, I just wanted to outline and make clear that this is a new partner program. Uh, there's no worry, you can, you can be a partner uh, with our traditional uh, CMS and you can also be a partner with Kentico at the same time. So uh, now you may be asking why, uh, why should I uh, partner with Kentico and Kentico Cloud? So uh, basically, uh, 
there are um, well there, there are a couple of reasons why why I should uh, want to to move uh, I think uh, over over this presentation uh, I when I was outlining why so why to move to cloud uh, I pretty much uh, covered the reasons uh, that uh, Cantico cloud really makes your process uh, process uh, more efficient and you can deliver faster you can choose your technology uh, so uh, it's uh, I would say it's a modern solution uh, built for the future. So uh, you can want to test drive it, and you can you you want you want to use it, right? But uh, why to partner with us? Uh, you can lean on us. So we are building Kentico Cloud Partner Program around services that we uh, that we uh, deliver and that we support uh, our agencies with. Uh, so uh, you can uh, fully leverage our uh, support department, consulting department, and the sales department, because we have uh, sales representatives all around, all around the world. So as, uh, uh, if, you are, if your agency is within the, our partner program, you can even use our sales, uh, sales guys uh, that will help you to deliver demos, etc. So what do you get as a Cloud partner program? Uh, this is a big point. You you get started. It sounds it sounds uh, obvious, but uh, as as we outlined today, uh, I would say learning new technologies, learning new tools, and new platforms is uh, quite a challenge for companies. So we help you get on board, and uh, we dedicate a customer success manager. Maybe it will be even Yana, who's with me today on the call, uh, who will help you and who will guide you. Through the first project and uh, we want to make sure that your first project will be a, a huge success so uh, you guys uh, can uh, use us as uh, I don't want to say teachers but uh, we uh, really want to help you with your first project obviously for free and this is uh, also an important part becoming a candy global partner uh, is free of charge obviously the, the second thing is that you get the support because uh, you may think, all right, uh, I don't need to be a kind of partner, bro, uh, you, I can stick with the free plan. But the free plan is supported just by community forums. And as Kentico Cloud Partner, you get a full support, unlimited technical support by email and chat with our support engineers. It uh, applies the same thing as with sales. We have um, support, uh, support engineers all around the world in uh, EMEA, uh, like Europe, uh, United States, and Australia. So uh, I can promise you that uh, our response time is pretty good. And uh, yeah, uh, we, can, we can support you with your technical questions. Then there is a special agency plan. And uh, this plan is obviously for free. So you can, uh, I mean, like subscription plan. So you can use this agency plan in Kentico Cloud for your internal projects, demos, and trainings. And there is no limitation in terms of uh, users. So uh, the, the, the metrics will be specified in mid-August, so something like in two weeks. Uh, and you can use this agency plan for your internal projects or even, uh, for example, for your website. But uh, obviously, it's free. And last but not uh, least, you, you get seen because uh, to be honest, uh, we are um, we are experiencing quite a hype with headless CMS, and we can see from the market uh, like clear shifts. Uh, and uh, it even happens that the clients are asking what agencies are capable of delivering headless uh, headless project. Uh, so uh, as a Kentucky Cloud Partner Program who already uh, delivered some project, you uh, you will shine in the Kentucky Cloud Partner Directory. Uh, you can check the Kentucky Cloud Partner Directory on the website and uh, therefore you can attract more clients. So uh, I think uh, I just want to encourage you to become a partner. Just uh, navigate to uh, kentikocloud.com. Let me maybe uh, show it to you. So uh, if, you, if you navigate to uh, more and partner section, uh, there is uh, the partner directory as I mentioned. So a couple of partners and I hope that I will see you guys amongst amongst uh, the others here on the website soon. But you can click on the become a partner. There are uh, all requirements, well requirements, uh, the description, and you can just uh, see uh, see the, the sign up process. So uh, drop us an email, and uh, we'll be happy to to onboard you. Yeah. So if I navigate back to the presentation, do we have anything to left? Sign up, guys. Sign up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Wojta, for introducing the Kentico Cloud Partner Program to us. Uh, so this uh, this is all for today from our side, and now the stage is yours. Uh, 
to ask ask questions. And as I can see, we already have some uh, some questions waiting for uh, for our answers. And in the meantime, please don't hesitate to post more questions into the chat window of the go to webinar. Uh, as I already mentioned, I can promise you that we will address all, all inquiries. If not now, then uh, maybe later uh, today or tomorrow via email. So the very first question is from uh, Adam. Adam is asking if uh, if we have a public roadmap. Uh, so uh, what should we tell our clients if they request features that can your cloud hasn't implemented yet? Uh, Wojta, do you have uh, an answer for that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, thanks Adam for that. Uh, actually, I expected to to uh, to receive such a question because uh, clients uh, or our partners um, post uh, this question quite often. So uh, let me navigate again to my browser and show you our public roadmap because uh, we we have released it uh, let's say a month ago. So uh, if you go uh, to kentikocloud.com slash roadmap you will find yourself on Kenzie Cocoa roadmap and it's kind of a timeline roadmap. That means that you can, you guys can see what has been released. Here we go. So you see that we have released quite a large portion of features this year and you see what is in progress and you also see what is planned. So you see that we have a lot of stuff ahead of us. Uh, if you navigate uh, to uh, to some particle um, feature, uh, such as content management API, you can see the description of what it's about, whether it will be available in free enterprise or professional plan, etc. So uh, this is it. You can you can use it. You can uh, filter filter it, and feel free to uh, to uh, tell us what you think and uh, tell us uh, what uh, let's say. Uh, what is the pain for your clients? Uh, what features uh, do they request? And I believe uh, the second part of Adam's question was, what, uh, da what does he uh, or what should he tell you, uh, his clients if they request a feature that Candy Cloud has not implemented yet? Well, uh, Adam, uh, you, you, you know, or you maybe know that Candy Cloud has been on the market from uh, the end of 2016. So it's just seven months, but as you see, we are working hard uh, if you take a look on the release section. And I just want to outline that we are releasing new features on two weeks basis. So this is a quite dynamic uh, development. And it may happen that if you tell us your feature requests, uh, we will just uh, pass it on to program management really quickly. And if the uh, feature uh, has enough votes and enough priority, it may happen that it will be implemented in like not in no time, but really quickly. So uh, I just want to encourage you guys to post it. And yeah, uh, I think uh, this this is it. Adam, if you just have some uh, additions, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, after the webinar. Great, uh, thanks Vojta for the answer. And uh, let's jump right in uh, to the second answer, the second question we have. Uh, John is asking, uh, Thanks for the example on the pricing, uh, but could you elaborate more on the pricing structure of your product? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, John, of course, uh, I didn't want to bother you uh, with the full pricing in my presentation, but I can definitely show you the pricing uh, right right now. So uh, if uh, let me let me stick with uh, candycocloud.com uh, uh, homepage. Uh, because as I mentioned, uh, you can find uh, basically everything on the website. So if I navigate to the pricing, uh, you can see that uh, there are basically three tiers, like three subscription plans. The first one uh, starting on the free, like a zero, uh, and uh, if the, uh, if the client uh, overdraws some metrics, like if if they have more than three users or more API calls, more track visitors, and they still don't want to go to professional, which uh, offers 10 users. They can just prepay, for example, two more users and stick with the free plan. Therefore, they will be paying 20. Uh, the majority of the um, of the projects is running on professional, uh, and prof professional starts at uh, 299 bucks, and it offers uh, it offers more features, so content localization. It offers professional support for the client and uh, obviously higher higher limits on the metrics and then we have enterprise uh, enterprise is the segment we are focusing on uh, strongly uh, but obviously there, uh, there are not so many uh, projects as running on professional uh, the enterprise plan 
and it's really focused on uh, delivering mission critical projects. Uh, so uh, those are the projects where the client needs 24/7 uh, support. They need SLAs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, if you if you want to discuss uh, the enterprise quote with us, just reach out to us and either myself or uh, my colleagues in uh, Australia or United States will be happy happy to uh, customize the offer for you and your clients. Yeah, so I hope this this helps. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Vojta. Um, now I know, uh, I guess S Sveta already knows the answer to his question, but could you elaborate more on this one? Uh, if Kentigo Cloud supports publishing the content in different languages like traditional CNS, uh yeah uh, could you uh, like Svepta, could, could you could you please uh, specific a little bit, bit more in chat window like oh what, what do you mean or Janshu, do, do you get the question uh, I think it's uh, the, the question is about multilingual support if we oh multilingual uh, like yeah. you mean like content localization like if, if it supports I don't know Spanish or English uh, and this stuff yes yes oh of course of course so sorry for the confusion so uh yeah multilingual uh, sveta is saying uh, of course uh of course uh, sveta uh, in fact we just launched a uh, multilingual feature let's say one month ago i believe uh, and it's it's uh, quite nice uh, as you see in the pricing, uh, the content localization feature is included in the professional plan and the enterprise. So it's uh, it's uh, important to note that content localization is not uh, included in the free plan. Uh, but if you want to test drive it, you can test drive it in the trial. Obviously, in the trial you have all all the features. If I uh, could uh, show you very quickly how uh, or what uh, content localization localization look like, uh, let me navigate to uh, to my uh, my Kentucky Cloud instance, and uh, you see that uh, here the sample project. I have uh, English uh, draft version of Coffee Beverage Explain article that I was talking about. And if I want to include Spanish version uh, di directly from the window, I just can click on plus here. And uh, now Kentucky Cloud is creating uh, my uh, my Spanish uh, mutation, and you can uh, you see that the the fields are really same, and you can just uh, include uh, Spanish content. Obviously, I have not prepared my Spanish content here yet, but basically uh, the Spanish version uh, works identically as English version, but it has a different content item, so you can publish it and you can uh, run run the content production separately. Yeah, and you see that you have your um, uh, your uh, choice of copying uh, content from the other language. So if I wanted to copy language from English, I can, but uh, English is not very similar to Spanish, right? This is more for, for example, uh, German and Dutch and this stuff. Yeah, yeah uh, thanks for the question anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, good, so let's go to the next question. Uh, Amir is asking, uh, does Kentucky Cloud provide region-specific platform for better support and functionality? Mm -hmm. uh, Amir, uh, just to make it clear, I think that uh, what you mean is that uh, you would like to see, for example, the UI and the, uh, the the interface, for example, in a specific language, right? So you, you want to have uh, Kentic Cloud user interface uh, lo localized in in your uh, region. Uh, if if that's if that's the case, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, unfortunately, the Kentic Cloud uh, provides only the platform in English because uh, it's a software as a service. Uh, we know that it's uh, used all around the world. So uh, currently it's, it's only in English. Uh, not sure uh, what, are, what are the, uh, what are the um, uh, plans for, uh, for future. Definitely, definitely not uh, that we will be providing a region specific platform uh, this year. Uh, who knows what uh, 2018 brings to us, but uh, not, unfortunately not this year. But thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so this seems that we have answered all the questions uh, that were posted. Uh, again, if you have more questions, you can uh, reach out to us uh, anytime via email, uh, and we will uh, we can schedule additional call to talk about uh, uh, your questions or answer them uh, via email uh, as well. Yeah, maybe uh, I just, uh, sorry, Janche, for interrupting. Mm -hmm. I just uh, realized that I haven't posted my email in, in the presentation, so I will just write you guys uh, write you guys in the chat window. Or, 
you know what i, I will just uh, add it uh, to, to my presentation sorry for this uh, last last minute uh, goal so if you if you see uh, here we go <laughs> <laughs> editing editing the the presentation in live mode um, so it's very uh, very uh, very easy for you to do, do, uh, borel and uh, you can write me personally or you can reach out to us at sales at kentico.com yeah nice last second save <laughs> 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 okay so uh, in a in a few moments we'll send you uh, a url to sign up for a free kentico draft trial uh, uh, we encourage you to give it a try and send us feedback. Uh, you can play with the solution, see see what it looks like, how it behaves, and uh, yeah, we appreciate any any feedback on the platform. As you have seen, we uh, implement quite a lot of features. So uh, thank you once again for your time and have an amazing day today. Thanks, everybody. It was a pleasure. And uh, just get in touch. We'll be super happy to, to chat with you personally. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, bye-bye.